We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top. You love it. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here can never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here can never stop. Hold up. Nah, nah. Hey, this right here can never stop. Hold up. Nah, nah. Hey, this right here can never stop. Hold up. Nah, nah. Hey, this right here can never stop. Hold up. Nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey. I live on a job, right? Yeah, I'm always at work, right? Real people stay by me, right? Haters wanna do hurt, right? No, they trying to stop me, right? Drag my name through dirt, right? I don't feed into the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk, facts. I feel so. Hey, yeah, so this for me. Who is this right here? This person right here. Come closer if you can't see. It's all right. We your brothers, man. We cool. Who is that right there? That's Jesus. Who taught you that was Jesus? The church taught you that, right? What about y'all? Who is this right here? You say Jesus? You don't believe that's Jesus. Why? Okay, I'm going to show y'all what Jesus actually looks like in the Bible. Y'all go to church too? What about you? What's your name in the orange jacket? What is it? Jamar? Jamar, who is this right here? So y'all all say this is Jesus, right? No, you don't, but they do. We're going to show you that that is actually not Jesus right there. Right. Jesus don't look nothing like that in the Bible. We're going to teach you that because your churches are not going to show you this. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Whoa. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So now, it says the revelation of Jesus Christ. It says, I'm going to reveal to you, I'm going to show you what Jesus Christ looks like. Verse 14. Verse 14, his head and his hair. Stop. It says his head and his hairs. All right, read. Were white like wool. So it says the hair and his head was white like wool. It was white in color, woolly in texture. Does that look like white woolly hair right there? It says wool. You know what wool is? This thing on sheep. Now, what what type of race of people have woolly hair just like sheep? Who? No. I want you to touch your hair right quick. That's what wool is, bro. Bring it right. up. You got wool. He got wool. Everybody here got wool. Right. That's strike one. Jesus Christ is not a white man. Bring it up. So read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He had woolly hair. He had kinky or they say nappy hair. You know how when your mama try to run a comb through your hair, she say, boy, your hair nappy as hell. That's the hair Jesus Christ got. Right. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. Now it says his feet. It says his feet. You wearing sandals right now, right? Does the feet match the rest of the color of your legs? What about your arms? Bring it up. <laughs> what about your face? So it says his feet, right? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now it says brass. Y'all know what color brass is? Anybody here? What, I, I want to ask you, what color is brass? That's what? Dark, but what color? I want a specific color. You said what? It, it's, it is brown, but we're going to show you how dark it was. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. It says as if they burned in a furnace. If you put anything in a furnace, what color does it turn? It turns black. So what color is Jesus Christ? He's a black man. That's right. Jesus Christ looks just like me, you, 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 and him, everybody out here. Right. So that lets you know that Jesus Christ is not white. Right. Jesus Christ does not have long hair, blue eyes. Right. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. Now, if Jesus Christ looks like us, what does that say about y'all? They say Jesus Christ was the greatest man to ever walk on earth. Right. What does that make y'all? Nope. It does not make y'all black. Your skin color is not black. It could be a dark brown. Little brother, what's your name? DJ. Is your skin the same color as your shorts? Is it the same, same color as your shoes? No, it's not. You're brown. But what we're out here teaching, we're teaching that you guys are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. And just like Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was from the tribe of Judah. Jesus Christ was an Israelite as well. 
Right. The reason I told you, if Jesus Christ looks like me and you, what does that make you if he was the greatest man I walk on earth? No. You guys are the greatest people to walk on the earth today. Right. Uh, That's what we're trying to teach you. It's y'all not just black. Y'all not just uh, niggas. How they be saying in school? That's right. Like how old are you? You're 12. What about you? 11. What about you? 15. What about you, brother? I can't hear you, man. You gotta come a little closer, man. You see everybody put their bikes down. They talking to me. What's up? I can't hear you, bro. Come closer. You 18? You the oldest, man. You gonna let the little one show you up, bro? Come on, bro. You supposed to be the leader. Come on, man. You supposed to be the leader. All right, so you 18, right? So that's what we're out here doing. We're teaching that you guys are the Israelites. Y'all know anything else about the Bible? What? Who else do they say is, uh, is white in the Bible? Who else? Jeremiah 14 and 2. They say God. If Jesus Christ, if we just prove that Jesus Christ looked like me and you, do you think God looks like this image right here? Oh, he looks more like that one. Okay. I'm gonna read this. We're going to read this first, and we're going to show you what God looks like, too. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Yeah. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. So it says Judah mourneth. Judah, Judah is short for the Jews. We are the Jews, according to the Bible. Right. All right? Read. They are black. They're what? They are black. No, they're white. They are black. What skin color did it say the Jews are? It says they are black. That's right. We are the Jews according to the Bible. Right. Now let's see what does God look like. Bring it out. Read that, Daniel. You got that, Daniel chapter 10 and verse 5. We're going to show y'all what God looks like. 79, my fault. Bring it out. We're going to show y'all what God looks like because if Jesus Christ looks like me and you, then his father should be what? There you go. Right. Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. Yeah. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is God, because he's older than time. All right, read. Whose garment was white as snow. Hold on. In the church, don't they say that God is just a spirit? He's just a puff of smoke, right? But it just said that God is wearing a what? Whose garment was white as snow. It says God is wearing a garment. That means he's wearing clothing. That means if he's wearing clothing, what does he have on? Is he, I'm sorry. If he's wearing clothing, what does he have? What do you put on your? What do you put on to cover yourself? To cover your what? Your what? Your body. There you go. That means God has a body. That's right. Read. Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair. And the hair of his head. So now it's describing God's hair. Just like it described Jesus Christ's hair. Right. Let's see if it's the same. Read. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Like the pure what? Like the pure wool. What did you say God's hair was like? Like the pure wool. Just like it said Jesus Christ's hair was like. So that means God is what? It's black. That's right. God is black. That means God looks just like me and you. Right. That means when you go stand in front of the mirror, you're supposed to see God in yourself. Right. Y'all right. just learned something new on Black History Month. Right. Jesus Christ is black. God is black. Everybody, all the prophets, your forefathers were black. Right. None of them were white. I know you You look shocked because I know they don't teach you that in the church. Right. Was that it on that? So, like I was saying, you guys are Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. You guys are princes. You young men, you are princes of the earth. Right. What do you have to do if you want to be on God's good side? What do you think? Like, what y'all doing out here right now? What time is it? Like, 10 o'clock? Were y'all headed home? Y'all headed to McDonald's, you said? What about y'all brothers? Where, where y'all going? Where were y'all headed? I can't hear y'all. You got to come closer. You're going to McDonald's, right? In church, did they ever tell you about the Sabbath day? No? Do you know when the Sabbath day is? Who said that? He said what? He said Saturday, right? If you know that, why aren't you teaching these young brothers, man? 
But the thing is, the Sabbath starts at Friday sundown and it ends on Saturday sundown. Right. And there's certain things you ain't supposed to do on the Sabbath. You know. What's that? That's a Methodist. Does God say it's okay to be a Methodist? Okay, well, let's see. Let's see what God says you're not supposed to do on the Sabbath. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. Bring it up. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So God said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Do you know what the first day of the week is? Bring it up. It's Sunday, so all of y'all know. So what does that mean the last day of the week really is? What is it? Think. Nope. There you go. The little brother got some sense. Saturday is the last day of the week. Right. And that's God's Sabbath. Hey, I got a question for you. You got a phone, right? No, no, no. I got a question. Just hear me out. You got a phone, right? If you go on your phone and you go on a calendar, what day does it say the first day is? No, don't. Pull out your phone. No, I want him to see it. Pull out your phone. What day does it say the first day of the week is? The little brothers up here just said it. No, man, it's not Monday. Little man, what's your name again? Chris, let me come up here. What 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 is the first day of the week? Uh Sunday. It's Sunday, bro. That's right. It's Sunday. Saturday is the last day of the week. Right. All right, let's see what God says. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So God said, Sister, how you doing? Sister, I got a question for you. Sister, I got a question for you, right? Okay, you mind coming up front for me? I want to talk to you right quick, sis. Hi, do sis. Is that your daughter? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. You don't got to be shy. You can come up front. I ain't shy. <laughs> All praises. So I got a question, right? right. Well, we're out here doing, we're teaching that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we're the Israelites, according to the Bible. That's right. That we are God's chosen people. So let me ask you a question. Where is your father from or your father's race? Haiti. 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 It's so-called Haitian, right? So that would mean... What happened? Go ahead. Go ahead. They, were not the they are part of the 12 tribes, but they're not Haitian. What's your question? Come closer. No, I can't hear you back there, though. Okay, go ahead. What's your question? I'm sorry, sis. No, it's for it's, it's just for our safety, man. You good. Just speak. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's, the camera's not on you. Go ahead. Uh huh. Yeah, let's get that second entry six. You said we're all the same. You said we're all the same. Okay, let me answer your first question. So you heard what he said, sis. He said we're all the same. We all deserve uh, to die because we're all sinners. What verse is that, by the way? <laughs> Do you believe that, sis? Do you think everybody the same? Please, pick up that sign. Pick up that sign. Brother, I got a question for you, man. If everybody is the same, why did so-called black people go through slavery? Bring it up. We're going to show you that so-called African, well, Africans did sell Negroes to slavery. It wasn't black people selling black people into slavery. It's like saying I sold you into slavery. I didn't do that. What's that? We're not, well, you're getting confused. We weren't the same people. We're not the same people as Africans. Bring it up. Hold on, we're going to read that. Hold on. Where's it at? Read that. Ham. Brother, listen to this. Africans are not the same as so-called Negroes. Hold on, read. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. The definition of Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. So it says, are hey, y'all listening? What did it just say? Read it again. Y'all need to listen, man. You asked the question, I'm trying to answer it for you. 
Read. The definition of Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. So Ham is the youngest son of Noah. Ham will be the so-called Africans today. Read. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. Wow. He became the progenitor of the dark races. So it says Ham became the ancestor or forefather of the dark races. Read. Not the Negroes. Not the who? Not the Negroes. If y'all would have came up here like I told y'all to, y'all would have saw it said Negroes for sale. Right. That's what they called us when we got enslaved. If, well, how come it didn't say Africans for sale if we're the same people? Bring it out. Negroes and Africans are two different entities. Yes, we're not the same people. Right. Finish it up. Finish it up. Keep reading. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. That's it. That's it. It says. You hear what it just said? It just labeled all the all the African nations: the Egyptians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. All of those and the Ethiopians, all of those are African people. But the so-called Negroes, us, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, who are the Israelites, we're not the same as them. Right. They sold us into slavery. And we're going to show you that in the Bible. I'm still proving my point. Hold on, let me finish this and I'm going to listen to you. Hold on, hold on, read that. The book of Exodus chapter 11 verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So God said himself, I put a difference between the Egyptians and the children of Israel. Bring it the up. children of Israel are the people you call so-called Jamaican today, so-called Haitian, Puerto Rican, African American, Native American. We are not the same people as the Africans. Right. Yes, I'm listening. Bro, I can tell it's nothing. It's for our safety. That's it. We are, we, are, we understand. Uh huh. Right. If you go into one of the parishes, bro. Right. You're going to see like 16 churches all on Sunday. They all believe the same thing. Adam and Eve all descendants of them, bro. Give me a second there, just please. What are you saying? Okay. I'm adding up for what I've been learning my whole life, bro. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Bring it up. You know why it's not adding up? Because you've been lied to your whole life, bro. Bring it up. Nah, you've been lied to. We're going to show you that according to the Bible. But listen, because the whole, hey, your whole life, your pastor don't open up the Bible. He just preaches to you a good sermon. My grandpa been preaching to me bro. Like, Did your grandpa ever tell you he was an Israelite? Did your grandpa ever tell you that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? Read Israel. Bring it out. Let's go. We are Israel. Come on. Bring it out. The book, the book of Second Esdras, chapter six, verse fifty-four. It's gonna answer to your question if everybody is the same. Read. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord. Listen, listen. It, it just mentioned Adam. It said. Lord made Adam, right? Read. And the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. It says of Adam. Y'all listening? Y'all listening? It says of Adam come we all, right? Okay, but hold on. That's not it. That's not it. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. It says we may come. We all may come from Adam, but God says there's a certain people you have chosen that also come from Adam. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people. Now God is putting a difference between those other people that also come from Adam. Let's see what God says about them. Read. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing. But be like unto spittle. God said those other people are like nothing. They're like unto spit. That's right. I know you never read this in the Bible before. Bring it up. But God just said, even though uh, everybody come from Adam, I chose a certain people. And those people are the Israelites, according to the Bible. That's right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You understand that, sis? Keep reading. Keep reading. We're not done. Hold on. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. 
I got a question. If you're drinking water, right, and a drop fell off your bottle, are you going to worry about that drop? Like, oh, my God, the drop. Are you going to worry about the drop? Or are you going to be like, I still got this whole bottle of water? If it falls, it falls, right? And you don't care about it. What does it mean to be nothing, bro? Read. As for the other people which also come, which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing, right. but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O oh Lord, it says God looks at them like a drop that falleth off a vessel. They are nothing. Right. Even though, yeah, we all come from Adam, God says, I still chose these people right here. Bring it up. You guys are those people. That's right. Why do you guys want to include everybody when God said, I only chose you? Bring it up. He only chose you, sis. What's your name, sis? Shirley. Do you, what do you believe, Shirley? <laughs> what do you believe, Shirley? Have you ever heard of this before? Yes, a couple years ago. Okay, so what do you believe? Do you believe what them two are saying that everybody on this nation, the same, we the same? Yes. Why would God leave these people? I don't think God would leave people. I think God gave their free will to know the truth to go to Him. So, so what you say is God dealing with every nation? Okay, okay. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to read out of the Bible, right? And we're going to see God's heart. Go to Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Bring it up. We're going to see God's heart. Joel, the book of Joel. The book of Joel chapter 2, verse 27. You know who Joel is? Brother, you know who Joel is? So guess what? Y'all need to be taught. Right. Y'all don't know nothing. Y'all got to be taught. This is the prophet Joel. Read the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Bring it up. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Now, this is God speaking. He said that I am in the midst of Israel. Read. And that I am the Lord, your God. I am whose God? I am the Lord, your God. You see that, Shirley? God said he is Israel's God. Read. And none else. So what does that mean? That's it. So is that not the Bible what we read? Was that not God's heart? Okay, let's see. Let's see the let's see the New Testament. The rest of the Bible. Romans 9 13. <laughs> hey Shirley, we could do this all day. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's read this scripture, then we're going to get to your question. But watch this. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Because you brothers need to be taught. That's why. Read. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. So listen, Shirley. The Bible says, Jacob have I loved. Jacob is the Israelites, right? He's the forefather of the Israelites. Read. But Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. What does that mean? He said he loved the Israelites, but he hate Esau. Who is Esau? God does not hate Esau. Oh, well, let's read again. The book of Romans, chapter 9. The book of what? Romans. The book of Romans. Chapter 9, verse 13. This is Paul writing God's word. Read. As it is written. As it is written. Paul said, as it is written. Meaning, it was written before in another book in the Bible. It was written in the book of Malachi. Right. Read. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob have you loved. Read. But Esau have I hated. Now you just said God don't hate nobody. But Paul said, the Bible says God hates somebody. Bring it up. But in the Bible, I don't know what verse it is. It says that God is love. <laughs> God is love. Because God hates somebody. Okay, let's see. But hold on. I need you to answer this question first though. What does that mean? Who, 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 what is he saying? What is God saying? Because you say God is love. God is loving to his people. Right. He's quick to forgive his people. Right. Not every other nation. Right. Every other nation has free will to ask God to forgive them and to be part of his tribe. Is that not? Where is that in the Bible? That's not written. Right. I, I, I'll search it up. Search it. Search. We got a Bible too now, you know, right? 
We got a Bible, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, get, get the Bible. That's the Bible. Come back around, Shirley. Come back around so I can see you. Come back around. <laughs> so you won't find that written that God loves every nation on the earth. That's what? not in the Bible. God said he loved his chosen people right. only. That's right. It seems like y'all know more than I do. Where in the Bible does he say he only really loves his people? You guys show me that he says that he First Kings 10 9. But where does it say that he He loves his own people? Yes. Okay, Second Chronicles chapter 9. Second Chronicles uh, chapter 9 and verse 18. Let's see. Nine, Read. Nine the book eight. of Second Chronicles, chapter verse 8. Nine. Thank you. Chapter 9, verse 8. Read. Blessed be the Lord God. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee to set thee on his throne. To be king for the Lord thy God. Come on. For, for to be king for the Lord thy God. Please. Because thy God loved Israel. Thy God did what? Thy God loved Israel. See that? Thy God loved Israel. So that's in Romans 9, 13. That's in 2 Chronicles 9 and 8. Also Malachi chapter uh, 2. That's right. Go to Malachi. Go to Malachi. Go to Malachi. I believe it's verse 1 and... And uh, two, watch this. The book of Malachi, chapter one, verse two. Bring it I have loved you, saith the Lord. I have did what? I have loved you, saith the Lord. So that the Bible says he loved us. Thus saith the Lord, read. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou love us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob. He did what? Yet I loved Jacob. And hated Esau. That's what Paul was called. And as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Esau is the so-called white man. That's, that's oppressing you and me. That's oppressing our nation. God hates them for oppressing his people. Bring it up. used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>